Alright, it's um, Wednesday night, September the 11th. Um, I've been um, been unplugged from the Matrix since uh, Friday afternoon. I thought I'd give uh, give everybody an update as to why, and um, had my phone turned off. I'm sure Dallas is going to be mad at me, and uh, I'm going to have to take a cussing from Dallas, I'm sure. Uh, but um, Friday we went to, um, I had had stayed in my camper down at Bastrop State Park uh, Wednesday and Thursday nights because I had some uh, meetings for work in Austin. And then Friday morning we went to, Mary, Thursday night Mary came down with the dogs and we stayed the night at the trailer at Bastrop, and then we drove about an uh, it was about an hour and thirty, hour and forty minutes into San Antonio to uh, go to my son's graduation from culinary school uh, at ten thirty in the morning. So we went, drove in, and we did that, and then um, um, afterwards we drove back after and uh, got back to the trailer about um, I don't know three o'clock or so and uh, opened the door and Fifi uh, was passed away. Um, Fifi was gone. Um, and uh, we had made plans to um, uh, take the family out for celebration dinner either in Austin or San Antonio, uh, San Marcos that night for Don's graduation. Uh, but I just packed up and um, I put Fifi in the truck and uh, brought her home and uh, uh, brought her home and buried her out back by, fi uh, by the fig tree in the backyard. Um, you know, uh, uh, when I came in on Friday, I just turned off my phone, set it on the table, and it's been turned off till just now. I just now turned it on. Uh, I hadn't had my personal computer on. I hadn't been done anything but work. And, uh, you know, came home and I was unplugged, didn't listen to the radio, watched a couple of series, but I didn't watch any news, didn't, you know, didn't do, I intentionally, uh, just, um, unplugged from everything, uh, campaign, everything for the, since Friday until tonight, I was going to go longer, but, you know, I got to get back, I got to get back to work, um. But, uh, uh, you know, I felt like I needed to give an update to to, to the people if anybody was, was wondering or, uh, where I'd been and why my phone you couldn't, couldn't reach me. Um, I do want to say something about Fifi, you know, the, um, um, when, when college at Austin College, where I met Mary, uh, I got a little bulldog, it was a half English half short paid bulldog and uh, I lived in an apartment and that dog went everywhere with me his name was Junior and uh, um, you know I was kind of a smart ass and so any, when anybody asked me that his name I'd give him whatever name popped to my mind and uh, but tell him we just call him Junior for short and I'd give him names like Richard Milhouse Nixon or William Thurgood Marshall or whatever name I could think of at the moment, but we could just we could just call him uh, uh, Junior for short. But um, that dog went everywhere with me, um, you know. And uh, she, we used to go fishing together. We would I had a sixteen foot flat bottom boat with a thirty horsepower tiller driven in, uh, engine on it. Junior and I'd go fishing. I'd let him off on the bank. It'd be a lake we wouldn't even know. He'd run off, and I'd fish down the bank, and uh, I'd see him come back and check on me every now and then, make sure he knew where I was, and he'd run off again. And when he'd get tired, he'd finally come back and get in the boat with me, and we'd keep fishing and go home. And, uh, you know, uh, uh, I always thought God just gave us one of those dogs in our lifetime. And... Uh, uh, after Junior left, I figured I had, you know, my one dog for my lifetime, but, um, uh, I had 
couple of dogs in between, but uh, when Fifi came along, uh, you know, she touched my heart like uh, my junior had before, and so it was a whole different, whole different animal. And uh, uh, you know, the first three or four years of her life, she, um, I was a solo practitioner here in town, and I had Fifi. She'd go to work with me every day, and so. Fifi was an office dog and, you know, kept, kept the clients, especially the kids, happy. And, you know, she had she had her job to do just like I had my job to do. She went to work with me every day. And, uh, and we went everywhere together. And then in 2012, when I finally, you know, I had some financial and health problems and finally uh, shut out my practice and went to work for the DA. Um, Fifi lost her job, and she never understood why she lost her job. Uh, you know, she, hell, she did, she did, she did good. She always still wanted to go to work every day. But um, Fifi was a good girl. Um, you know, uh, it was a big blow. Uh, you know, we're gonna gonna miss her a lot. I buried her out back. Um, put a bunch of trees around her. We're in a rent house, but uh, hoping that uh, putting the trees around her will keep whoever's in this house after us from disturbing her. Um, you know, but that's what's uh, been going on with me. I've been uh, been just trying to be in my own thoughts and and. Um, do some things I needed to get done and you know I didn't really have the strength or the energy to uh, support other people at the time so I chose to cut myself off for the moment but I did a triathlon Sunday I had one I paid for I went ahead and did it you know and I tried to punish myself but uh, uh I did it old school, no electronics, nothing but water with some supplements. Um, you know, I don't know. Uh, today, uh, finally starting to come out of my funk. Uh, I need to get back into, um, into the swing of things, so I'm gonna try to get to posting back again tomorrow. Um, try to. Um, Way. I'm gonna move my way in to Friday. So uh, this week, I, you know, I've been eating bad. I've, I've been eating the good stuff. I've just been eating a lot, you know, emotional eating and um, um, comfort eating. And but I, you know, I stuck with the with the meal, uh, gluten and dairy free, organic. Stuck with all that. I've just been eating a lot. Um, um, so I probably expect to gain some this week. I try to go swimming tomorrow night. I hadn't done any DDPY. I need to get back on to doing my DDPY. Um, but just try to get back after it. You know, this was a uh, this was a blow for me, and uh, you know, with everything I've been through, health wise, financially, everything. You know, property doesn't mean didn't don't, don't, doesn't mean anything to me. Things, you know, hell, I've had to sell everything at times, keep food on the table and roof over our head. So, um, you know, property doesn't mean anything to me. But uh, that dog meant a lot to me, and uh, you know, that dog and my family, and uh, it was a big blow. But. Um, you know, it's the way life is. We got to get through it. We got to stay positive, and uh, we got to get back to work and and uh, get on with our lives. You know, we gotta we gotta live it here and uh, now in the present. We gotta um, face the realities. And so, uh, a guy told me today that yeah, it said that. Uh, you know, when you purchase a when you when you obtain a dog, when you get a dog, you know you're gonna have to bury that dog one day. And 
this was the day for Fifi, her Friday was. So, um, but um, hug your, hug your, you know, life's fleeting and, you know, it was a roller coaster ride Friday going from my youngest child's graduation from associate degree in the culinary arts to finding Fifi passed away, uh, you know, you never, 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 you never know what life's gonna do you, but, um, um, so, I hate that it, uh, uh put a damper on Don's day, but there'll be other days for him, he's a good kid, uh, I'm very proud of him for going down there and knocking out 18 months at the Culinary Institute of America and getting his, his associate's degree in the culinary arts. I know he's going to do big things in whatever he does. He's a great kid, smart guy. Um, so um, that's it. That's all I got. Holly Lewis, I want to say I feel your pain. Uh, so... Uh, but uh, we're back at it tomorrow, back to work. Time to get back to work. Time to get on with it. So we'll see you next time.